Would you trade Colin Sexton? And, and what about the, the, the thought that the Cavs are exploring the opportunity to potentially move up um, and, and get that number one pick? Also some, some chattering, and again, it's smokescreen season, I know that, that uh, the Pistons like uh, Jalen Green a little bit more than Cade Cunningham. What do you make of all that? Okay. Uh, would I trade for the number one pick if I were the Cavaliers? Hell yes. <laughs> I absolutely would make that trade. Absolutely. Cade Cunningham is the consensus number one pick, and it is smokescreen season. I don't buy the Pistons thoughts that they might like Jalen Green for a second. That is a smokescreen. There is no doubt in my mind that it is. In my opinion, Cade Cunningham is the clear cut best prospect in this draft. He showed us last year with not much help, by the way, down at Oklahoma State. Not common for the top player in the country to play at Oklahoma State. We're used to seeing Duke. We're used to seeing Kentucky. That being said, I think that it reflected at times Cade's assist total could have been even higher at Oklahoma State. His court vision is next level. His balance and thought process between passing the basketball and knowing when to score it, I think, is clearly pro-ready. So many times last year, Cade Cunningham got double teamed. And so many times last year, he fought right through it. He still delivered. He made the right plays. Look, Jalen Green is a quality scorer and faced former pros for G League Ignite this past year, and he proved to us the kind of scoring option he can be in the NBA. The fact is, Colin Sexton could very well be in a package here in a trade that the Cavaliers make. I don't think that the Pistons are gonna trade out of the number one pick. I think they've got that pick made, and they might put up a smoke screen. They might float some things out to see what kind of value they could get. I don't think the Detroit Pistons would be smart at all by taking any offer uh, unless it was one that you absolutely cannot pass on. And I don't think Sexton, the protected first round and the number three overall, is even enough for what the Pistons have as an opportunity at number one. But I do think that the Cavs should draft a guard at number three. Uh, I've, I've said that before on this very show. And I think that Colin Sexton is a good player. But I don't think that Colin Sexton is one of the three best players on a playoff NBA team. And that's why I think the value for Colin Sexton might not be any greater than what it is in the here and now. So I could see him being on the move. I don't think the Pistons would be willing to take on that package from the Cavaliers. I think that the Cavaliers would be winning that trade if they got up to the number one pick. Fair enough. Um, you hear the Knicks as well, but I don't think the Knicks are a really good fit with, I, I don't think they're trading RJ Barrett in a Colin Sexton trade. And if not, I don't think that works. No, I don't think it works either. The Knicks are just coming off a really good playoff season. R.J. Barrett is a part of their equation. The fact is Colin Sexton does not have postseason experience. And to me, again, this is someone who's a good scorer. Colin Sexton is a quality asset for a team. But the Cavaliers have to get better. And based on some reports that we've seen in recent weeks, it's got to come sooner than later. I think you've seen most of what you needed to see from Colin Sexton. I don't think that the New York Knicks, Knicks are, are going to be the, the suitable option. I could see a team in the West taking Colin Sexton on as a fourth or fifth option on their team if they believe that they're dealing the right value and getting the right value back. I think that the Cavs are going to be very active on draft night. Dan Gilbert wants to see this organization take a step forward, a material step forward this upcoming season. The Cavs cannot continue to be living in the basement. Uh, yeah, you know, 2016 was beautiful, and, and people in Cleveland say there was a grace period with that because, yeah, they did win a championship. But the fact is, the Cavs got to start to show some signs in the wind column here that this rebuild is, in fact, working. And I think that there is uh, pressure on, on Kobe Altman here to make something work this upcoming season. And that might mean moving Colin Sexton.